Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about Neroli Portofino today, not just Neroli Portofino, the original, but I'm also going to talk about the Flankers, Forte and Aqua, and I'm going to tell you what I prefer and why, and I'm also going to talk a little bit about reformulation. So, um, I have been testing out all these different variations of Neroli Portofino for the last two or more months, so I really have been properly properly testing all of this Neroli Portofino shit and um, there's a good reason for it. I've fallen head over heels, crazy in love. I am crazy in love with Portofino. Um, I have been smelling it in the shops for donkey's years, you know, it's been out since goodness knows when, 2000 and something like seven I think. Um, the nose behind it is um, Rodrigo Flores Rue, uh, correct me if I'm wrong or saying that wrong, uh, and he's the nose behind all of them, the flankers as well as the original. So, um, yeah, I just, um, I've been smelling it in this shop for absolutely ages, always thought it was a little bit boring. I smelt the opening, I loved the bottles, I smelt the opening in the shops and just thought, yes, it's very pleasant, but I don't need to own a bottle. I've always had very, um, quite complex tastes, or certainly the last few years since I got properly head over heels into fragrances. I quite like um, very, I like very gourmand, I like very complex fragrances, multi-layered, strong fragrances, but that is all changing. And um, I just really got into Neroli Portofino. Um, I tell you what the trigger was, um, and that's when I met up with a fellow frag head, Alvaro, and he was wearing it and I just couldn't believe how amazing it smelled on him, how well it lasted. And that lovely, clean, sophisticated, um, not overpowering, very respectful um, fragrance that was coming off of him. And it was like hours and hours. So I just, I didn't believe that Neroli Portofino had any longevity. I believe that, I mean, I've watched a lot of reviews. I've read a lot of reviews. Quite a lot of people say it only gives them four hours on their skin. So I was um, probably never all that interested to smell it because I think it's very expensive. How far, however, however, um, after smelling on Alvaro, I really got into trying it properly. Um, so, and I was also curious of trying the flankers. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on uh, Neroli Portofino itself. And I have here a full bottle because I'm a lucky girl and someone very special bought this for my birthday back in September and I absolutely love it. Um, you can see I've worn quite a lot of it. Um, difficult to show you, but I've definitely made a dent in that, bearing in mind it's only October. Um, and I just love it. So obviously you get Neroli, but there's much more to it than that. It's got that clean, soapy kind of thing going on, which I guess is the Neroli, but I think there's a lot more than that. Um, it does not take long at all for the beautiful, clean musk to come through and uh, merge with the Neroli. And it's really transparent, slightly woodsy. Um, there's supposed to be amber in the base. I think the amber would be more like an an ambergris rather than an like amber, like a typical kind of uh, resinous uh, vanillic or labdanum and that kind of thing. It's definitely to me more of a kind of salty, woody, very ethereal and very much more about the musk in this. The reason I love Neroli Portofino is because of the musk. Um, the presentation is stunning. I absolutely love the presentation. I've always admired the bottle um, and the box. It comes in very nice. And what I love is that you can, if you want to just sit it like that on your dressing table or wherever, that looks really nice too if you like to see it unclothed. Um, so I love it. Um, there's not much more to say. We all know what Noelia Portofino smells like. So what happened next is that I needed to smell the aqua and I needed to smell the forte. So um, I um, bought a decant of the forte from one of the fragrance groups. 
from a um, lovely chap on there and um, I have that I think here where did I put it there <laughs> have that there and I made some notes look notes basically um, the opening is not to my taste it's very green it's very herbal the neroli is very very uh, present but it also smells like there's more orange in there there's a lot of lemon in there and the musk is hiding oh, hiding just so far away it's crazy and because I love the musk so much that is uh, straight away off-putting the musk is nowhere to be seen the transparency is not there it's a very thick syrupy um, a much more full-bodied fragrance and that is not what I actually want from this fragrance um, I got from this in the opening a lot of lemon uh, started off um, I've written down stinging nettles because of that really green um, herbal opening um, there's lemon the lemon gets stronger and stronger I get like a boiled lemon sweet you know those sherbet lemons um, the musk is really faint you can't really tell and the musk takes over an hour and a half to two hours before you even notice it um, it's quite fresh there's a little bit of spiciness I don't particularly notice the leather that's supposed to be in there um, and basically Forte is unfortunately thumbs down for me I just don't go I don't get it and I don't like it so Forte's out so next I had to try Aqua and um, Greggy boy uh, lovely Greggy boy sent me a sample initially of the Aqua and um, I'm going to put a link to his website fragrance samples direct um, so if there's anything you can't get hold of niche designer and discontinued you might be able to get them from Greggy Boy's site so um, it's really worth checking out so anyway I couldn't get hold of um, any aqua but Greggy Boy was uh, sweet enough to send me some and I love it loved it so much in fact I managed to hook myself up with a bottle I got it on eBay I know that's a risk and it was a risk I'm willing to take I'm absolutely 100% certain that I've got myself a decent bottle here and um, I love it. Do I love it more than Neroli Portofino, the original? No, I love the opening. So the opening is more floral and slightly probably leaning more feminine because of that. So I've got Aqua here and Neroli Portofino original there and they've been on my hands for about two hours now. And there's not a lot in it this is what happens is the aqua kind of starts out more powdery and it's almost got this fluffy imagine pollen you know um, powdery pollen and if you get it all over your fingers or whatever um, it gives me that feeling that's really um, difficult to explain but this is like fluffier softer um, and just generally slightly more floral very very similar I if I wouldn't be able to tell them apart I don't think unless I knew which was which they are that close however I just really love it anyway um, but what happens with this this is eau de toilette and of course the original is eau de parfum what happens is this starts out quite strong as strong as the original but about two hours into about this point the they really get so close to each other but the Neroli Portofino does start to take over in terms of the strength uh, the fullness of the fragrance and the projection um, now people say they only get four hours out of Neroli Portofino I get between six and eight usually about two ish hours of projection and then it's more of a it's a skin scent but a bit better than that I get sillage if I'm moving around wearing my Neroli Portofino or the Aqua and they're on my clothes as well now that's really important I think this is one fragrance you do have to spray on your clothes if I'm moving around then I'm getting little whiffs of it and I know other people are as well. I got um, a compliment on the Aqua just the other day from uh, the girl in my office. She um, she really likes this one, actually prefers it over all the, um, the original and the Forte. Um, she's only 20, she really likes that probably because it is more floral. Um, 
so yeah I get six to eight hours from both fragrances this does get a little bit lighter near the end than the Neroli Portofino but it is cheaper and I think it's uh, if you can't if you're not going to go for Neroli Portofino you just want to spend a little bit less and Aqua is well worth considering another opinion um, got an opinion this weekend from a good friend and he said that the Neroli Portofino Aqua is to him in effect the eau de toilette version of Neroli Portofino and that's probably very true there's about as much difference between the two as there would be of an identical fragrance just in a different concentration so basically um, that's my opinion I love both Aqua and the original equally I think and then quickly we're gonna talk about formulations reformulations now I mentioned Alvaro his was from 2013 and he so sweetly sent me a decan and I've been testing that out and comparing it to my bottle which is current formulation also double D Richard Richard I bought this um, 2011 Neroli Portofino from him I had 10 mils as you can see I have proper spunked it and like I say it's only been in the last month or so that I've been doing this couple of months um, I have spanked proper spanked this uh, vintage Neroli Portofino um, and if I'm completely honest with you the differences are just not even worth mentioning do not waste your time and your money tracking down vintage because the difference between vintage and current is is nothing I think they're very 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 minor if you really really pay attention very minor differences but to be fair I don't know if that's to do with formulation or just the fact that the juice itself is older now I generally prefer older um, not like ancient gone off shit but I do prefer a fragrance once it's had time to mature if I buy a brand new bottle from um, let's say a, 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 a I really like um, 4160 Tuesdays sexy scent on the planet um, when I've had that bottle for several months it smells richer to me and it smells better uh, than when I've just cracked open a brand new bottle so um, there's something to be said for that I do think that there is no need to be going chasing down when it comes to Neroli Portofino don't waste your time and energy chasing down vintage the current formulation is to me no different nothing um, also I did test a 2012 batch as well I don't have that with me now and it's the same there are various uh, variations ever so slightly but I for all I know it is just because of the age or the way it's been stored or um, you know if it's been stored in a decan if it's had if it's been aerated while it was being decanted so that's it so in summary, Neroli Portofino and Neroli Portofino Aqua are extremely similar but the Aqua is slightly more floral, fluffy and transparent. The Aqua performance is slightly less but not really that much. So test them both out, see what you think, if you can tell a difference. If you love Neroli Portofino like I do, you probably want to test them all out anyway. Forte is too green for me, it's very herbal and there is galbanum in there and I know for a fact that I do not like galbanum, that's, so that, that's it. If you like green and you like rich um, and you like neroli obviously, it might be worth checking it out. But if you think it's going to be like neroli portofino and you love neroli portofino for its airiness and its cleanness and its musk then Forte is going to disappoint you so I hope you have enjoyed watching me it's gone on too long and I do apologize I had a lot to say but I do appreciate it thanks guys see ya